Okay, this activity is for your radiometric dating lab. This is radioactive decay essentially of M&Ms. So what I have here are 50 M&Ms and these are a little bit different. They just got married. Um, the back side of them do say we do or Mr. and Mrs. So we're just gonna pretend that that doesn't say anything. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna pour them out onto this felt so that they don't bounce everywhere. And we're going to start recording how many of them flip over. So this is recording half-life, essentially. So what we're starting with are parent M&Ms or parent atoms. I have 50 M&Ms in here. Okay, so that's it times zero. And we have none that have decayed. So our daughter are zero right now, okay? So our total atoms or our total M&Ms are 50. So we should never have more <clears throat> than 50 add up between these two columns, okay? So after the first half-life, so we'll write half-life over here. Okay, so after the first half-life, let's find out how many of them flip over. So I'll just take the cup and I'll pour them out. Okay, so I've got to smush them down so they all have flipped or not flipped. Okay, so we're gonna pull out the ones that have not flipped. We're just basically separating the M's from the not M's. So anything that says Mr. and Mrs. or we do, we're gonna put in one area and the M's we'll put in another. So the Mr. and Mrs. and the we do's are the daughter atoms or the M&Ms that have decayed. Okay, so the M's are our parents. We have two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve, fourteen, sixteen, eighteen, twenty, twenty-two. Okay, so on this piece of paper here, I'm gonna write twenty-two. So that means we have how many daughter atoms? All you have to do is subtract, or you can count them if you want. Two, four, six, eight, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18, 20, that one was flipped, 22, 24, 26, 28. Okay, so we still have our 50 here. So we'll put 28 over here. So 22 and 28 equals 50. So you've already noticed that we've already lost a little bit more than half this first time. So now we're gonna do a second half-life. And we're gonna continue the half-life until we run out of M&Ms. So we'll put all of our decay product aside. We're not gonna worry about them anymore. Okay, well for right now. We're gonna put our parent atoms back in the cup and dump them back out. Now let's see how many have decayed. So we've got two, four, six, eight, 10, 12, 14, 15 of the 22. Okay, so we've got 15 to add to our 28. And we have two, four, six, seven parent atoms left, okay? So over here on your sheet, you'll write seven parent atoms. So we have seven parent atoms left, 50 minus seven. We have 43 that have decayed, okay? And we'll keep going until we run out of M&Ms. So here is half-life number three. So we have Three parent atoms left and four more have decayed. Okay. So on our paper here, we have three. That's at half-life three. We have three of them left. 
which means we have 47 daughter product. After the fourth half-life, we now only have two parent atoms left. One more has decayed, so we have 48. Okay. One thing you'll notice is that eventually you can get to zero with the M&Ms. So there was two again. So for our fifth, two and 48. Okay, now we only have one left. So during our sixth, one and 49. Let's see if this will flip over. Okay, so after seven half lives, all of our daughter products, or sorry, parent atoms have decayed. Now, in a real scenario, the parent atoms will never actually become zero because you're always dividing by two. It's always being taken in half. So 50% of the atoms are being lost, the parent atoms are lost every half-life. So this parent atom number will never actually hit zero, but because we're just doing a flip over scenario, eventually one of the, the last one will flip over. So this is a good demonstration. You can do it on your own with pennies. You can do it with dice. You can do it with M&Ms if you've got M&Ms. Um, and then just answer the questions that follow this video.